Hello everyone! So today I want to show you the birthday problem. So how likely is it that two persons share the same birthday? Okay, we have three basic assumptions. We have 365 days in a year and all days are equally likely. All people are independent. So with that we have Pn, which is the probability that the first n people have all different birthdays, so no one share the same birthday. So 1 minus the probability is the probability that within the first n persons two share the same birthday. So let's assume we only have one person. If we have one person, the probability that several people share the same birthday is zero. And the probability that the first n people have all different birthdays is one, because we are just one person. If we have two persons, then the probability that the first n people have all different birthdays is still 99.7%. If we go further to three people, the probability decrease a little bit. And now let's look into the formulas. The probability that the second person shares not the same birthday with the first person is 0.99. And this is calculated by 365 minus this one day person 1 has birthday, which cannot be shared with person 2, divided by 365 and multiplied by 1, by the probability of person 1. Okay, then let's assume these two people, the first two people, have a birthday on the first two days of the year. The probability of the third person is calculated as 365 minus 2, so two days are already captured by the first two persons, divided by 365 and multiplied by the probability of the two person in the room. If we continue the same methodology and we add up more people in the same room, the probability that the people share the same birthday increases. And we actually see after 23 people in the same room, the probability is higher than 0.5 that two share the same birthday. But let's look now at the simulation. Okay, we just have here a Monte Carlo simulation. We have assumptions as well. We have 45 people which are independent of each other. We have 365 days and all days are equally likely. Okay, here we all have like the person 1, 2, 3 until 45. And also on the this axis we also have the same. Then we have here the day is a random number between 1 and 365. So in these cells are always like a random number. The thing is we want to compare this day in the year, this random number, between person 1 and the other persons. So we have here for person 1 has birthday on the 28th of January and no one else has a birthday on the, on the 28th of January. But now when we look at the, the 301 day in a year, we actually see that person 32 and also person 15 in the room out of these 45 people share the same birthday. So this is why we have a one here. 
And now we see here we have two matches, so two times the same birthday within these 45 people. And now when we just run this again, this kind of example, we run it again and you see, oh, now we have no match. But when we run it again, number of matches 5, 4, 1, 5, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 4. So the number of matches is mostly bigger than 0. And this is also, we can see it here, with 45 people as before, we only have 6% is the probability that no one shares the birthday with another person in the room. So I hope with this short example I could show you the birthday problem and the probability that two persons share the same birthday out of a group. Thanks a lot and have a nice day!